swipe me. Finders keep. Instead of popularity, don't have that sheep mentality. This performance in Miami was called Pink Privacy, and it was with a group that I've collaborated with called uh, the New York Femme Factory to amplify and promote female identifying voices. There were these old school telephones that you would lift up, and while you were sitting there, you would hear the soundscape, which had spoken word by three female spoken word artists. They asked me to take this installation and expand on it. It was really great to be able to have the Morph and the Innovator Pad because I was able to do things in a contained space that I wouldn't be able to do with another MIDI controller. And the coolest thing is that using the Innovator layout, you can write on it. I had created my own overlay as a guide. I have one kind of oval button up here, which is setting my tempo map. I have some woodwinds that I pre-recorded. Let's also trigger the glitch stem, so we have like a little bit more of kind of like an ambiance going. And then these buttons over here, um, I chopped up the voiceover from the installation, the spoken word. Pink privacy, send map to morph. To trigger the three women's voices. Bubblegum pops. And for example, that one now is gonna keep Bubble looping. Instead of popularity, don't have that sheep mentality. So it's just kind of like add the message and to bring together uh, the installation that you hear with everything else. So this next overlay I used for another sound installation. The gist of it was to juxtapose nature sounds and city sounds, things that I captured throughout travels last summer from Milan, from LA, from Florence where I'm from. The person that was attending would be able to control how much city sound and nature sound they were bringing into the room. This is the overlay that I used for that. Um, you can see up top that there are eight circles which all represent different nature sounds and cityscapes. Because with the innovator pad you can color code, it's just easier to be able to look and be like, okay, that's that, and then not have to worry about looking at the computer, which is really, really liberating. So for example here, let's say I want to do like, okay, you, you can play with these two uh, wave and nature sounds and these two cityscape sounds. If I wanted to trigger a new sound and I was like, okay, how about we modulate to F? I could go here and trigger this. This is to trigger all of the samples at once. These two over here, these two sliders, are actually the outs of the four quad speakers. You can find other MIDI controllers that just have buttons, but the fact that this had sliders and that it has faders is huge. Sometimes all you need is one controller or like two controllers and not kind of like this whole big piece of apparatus. And then what can I do to kind of amplify and play over this? And because I know it's in C, I can start playing with like the OP1, or I can add any of the kind of like sound banks that I have on here. When you make electronic music, you want it to still feel like a performance. And you know, it, it'd be really easy to just kind of like press play. But what I like to do is try to mix tactile things that are outside of the computer. It lends itself to more of like an improvised end. And it also makes me feel like I'm actually playing something. Having everything on a pedal board, it's all very much modular. So like everything can kind of like Velcro in and out. I can stick the morph on the pedal board as well to perform anywhere and for any sort of occasion. So the last overlay that we have here that I'm gonna show you guys today is an overlay that I used for um, another quad installation at the LA Public Library. Um, and it was an event that I did with Suzanne Chani who was playing her quad LP live. Everyone that was in attendance was able to grab these iPads to put sounds in different speakers. I used the Morph as a surround panner. So I use it together in Ableton with the surround panner app. I'm moving around the center right here of the surround panner and it's following me. If I wanted my vocal to be more on one side of the room than the other, I could do that the same way that you would with more advanced speaker systems like a VBAP. 
There's not really any XY pads like this around that are MIDI friendly and that also aren't super expensive. But this was able to just let me do it with the pad, which is great. And I can even kind of do it like this where they're both circling like counterclockwise and clockwise, or I can have things in opposite corners or have them be moving around the space like this. I think it's nice to give people like a little moment of reflection and the biggest compliments that I get from shows is when people are like, wow, I just totally spaced out. That's what I'm hoping my music will do is be able to take people kind of out of their head for like even half hour.